How you doing today, folks? So before we get started on the actual video, I just want to take a second to say thank you guys so very much for your donations and your time. Um, I appreciate you all so very much. Um, it's very late. It's like 3 o'clock in the morning. Um, you'll be seeing this, this on Halloween night, probably between 9 and 11 o'clock at night, if you guys happen to still be awake. Um, so, happy Halloween. Um, spoiler alert, this video contains blood, because I'm an idiot and I fucking cut myself. I've been bleeding for like an hour. It's crazy. Knives are so sharp. <laughs> um, anyways, so as far as donations, I've got a bunch of different comments asking about them. So, here's the whole deal with that. If you donate, it'll go towards somebody in the community who doesn't have anything. You know, I ask about whole bunch of different questions in regards to your financial situation, um, where you are emotionally, spiritually, you know, it isn't just a matter of just money, right? Let's just say you need, you just need to know that somebody cares about you. You know, sometimes just getting something decent for free or whatever, just knowing that there are good people in the world or goods coming your way can make all the difference in the world. So, like I said, it's not just a thing about money. But money that does play a part in it. Let's be clear here. Um, I'm the main thing that's supposed to go towards people who don't have anything. Because when I grew up, I didn't have anything at all. Um, my holidays sucked. Also, my birthday is December 30th. So, you know, Christmas, then my birthday. So it was, wasn't was presents, then presents. It was like one thing here, if I was lucky. Um, but it isn't really necessarily about that to me. You know, my biggest thing is that you know that people actually care about you. Um, with that being said, let's do something a little differently here. If you live in and around Stockton, California, which is where I live, let me know. I will literally open up my doors to you for the holidays. Um, we will cook together, find some way to hang out, uh, talk shop, talk knives. I don't want anybody to feel left out or to feel alone or to, you know, just to have doubts about their situation. So if you happen to be in this area and you don't have anybody, hit me up. Um, my Instagram is Kyle J. Landfear. My Facebook is Kyle J. Landfear. You know, I'm not hiding. You can by all means get in contact with me. Um, I talk to, fuck man, the majority of you. I have 200, 200 subscribers right now, which is relatively small. I think it's like 191, but we're close to 200. Um, so I talk to most of you, you know, shout out to uh, Flint Still Survival, Nice Slicers, Jade Schaefer. The list goes on. Again, I talk to the majority of you, but to talk about this for 20 minutes is, that's not a good look. <laughs> um, so just know that I am actually here for you. Like I'm an actual person. I'm not just doing this shit with the fucking cameras. Like, you know, I care about you guys. I love you guys. And if you need me, I'm here for you. Doesn't need to be knives or any, any money, man. If you just need a friend, man, I'm here for you, period. Um, with all that being said, if you do want to donate, uh, in my, my, my PO box is going to be linked in the comments. Um, I've got a couple questions about that, so that's it's there. It's You don't need to. It's not necessarily needed, but it's appreciated. And it'll go from, instead of going to five people, which is, so this whole thing is supposed to be a giveaway for five knives, right, to five people. Um, right now we have uh, the five I was going to do, um, plus my buddy Flint Steel Survival donated, I think it was like eight knives. Uh, somebody else just donated to Kershaw. It's going to be in this video. So it's growing. It's definitely growing. And, um, you know, I'm going to keep on talking to people, keep on finding these different contacts and, you know, make someone's day. And uh, it's, it's, it's just awesome. You know, the holidays for a lot of people are a hard thing. So just to know that someone cares about you, it's awesome. And uh, we're at four minutes and we haven't even talked about the video. So I'm going to cut it here. As always, I love you guys very, very much. Look at my face. I love you guys very, very much. You need anything? I'm here for you. you somebody to talk to? I'm here for you. If you're having a bad day, you want to vent? Man, I'm here for you. I'm very busy. I work a crazy job. I take a while to respond. Don't take it personal. I'll get there. Also, as far as my comment section, YouTube has not been telling me who comments. I get pinged randomly for some stuff and other stuff I hear nothing about it at all. So if I don't respond, it's not that I 
just don't care or whatever, I didn't see it. So again, my Instagram is, you know, I already told you that, same thing with my Facebook. I definitely do get those. So if you wanna to talk to me on there, it's a much better chance I'll be able to respond and I'll actually see your comments. Um, I'm not sure why it's doing that, but it's, you know, it's it's a thing. Um, I literally scroll through the videos individually every, every couple of days to try and see if I missed anything. Cause I'm really trying to make it a habit to, you know, to comment and to respond to every single comment, which is, you know, people call it tedious, but again, I love you guys. So talking to you guys to me is just the light of my fucking day. So I'm going to cut it here for the second time I've said that I talk too much. It's a habit. And these are all authentic videos that I just ping pong off of. So I love you. Take care and bye. How are you doing today, folks? So I have two unboxings for you today, and I don't know what the hell this is. I know what this is. Who I'm looking forward to this one? But this one, I have no idea. So let's start off with this one because I am anxious. Kershaw. Oh, I think this is going towards the giveaway from what I recall. Uh, a guy hit me up on Instagram, I'm not going to mention his name because I'm not sure if he wants to be known or not. Um, if you're down there in the comment section and you want to be known, just comment. I'll definitely give you credit for it. But uh, he mentioned sending a brand new Kershaw. So this would be it. Even has a little uh, silica packet on it. First flip. Ooh. That is assisted. Which isn't really my style, but it's done very well. And um, to be honest with you guys, I've never really handled a USA made Kershaw before. This just never really came up that way. Plenty of ZTs and stuff, but this is actually a pretty damn comfortable, solid feeling knife. I might have to go buy some USA made Kershaws. Little oil on there. Damn. Okay. That is a happy accident. So, on to the star of the show. Okay, I'm about 99.9% .9 sure this is not a ZT, so thinking maybe we didn't have the box, which is, well, pouch technically, which is kind of a problem. Ooh, that is, okay. Put the old Paragon Knives Warlock away too soon. That is really packaged up. Holy crap. Okay. So what we have here is a Custom Knife Factory Makosha. Now, I'm a huge fan of what Custom Knife Factory does. They're very much a mid-tech company. I don't know what uh, designer this is from, just to be completely honest with you guys. When I do the actual rev review for this, I'll definitely have that information. But it has this beautiful fox pattern right here. Uh, the uh, Veshka, um, the uh, first integration of this, has a squirrel pattern. This one has a, vo a fox pattern on it. It's very cool. Um, I actually have some custom scales coming pretty soon, so that's going to change the way it looks a little bit. But still a very nice knife, bronze knife. The little nail nick opener. Let me clean this blade up real quick. This is a hand rubbed satin blade. It is absolutely beautiful. Action is amazing. 
Uh, I have a uh, Fief 23 or 523, whoever you say that, and that action will cut your damn finger off. So I'm pretty careful when it comes to CKFs the first time. So can open it that way. Can you? You can. I just failed right there, but you can. I'm pretty sure. Yep. You can Spidey flick it. I'm just not very good at that. And I wonder. You can front flip it. Okay. That one I did not know about. I now have a new favorite front flipper. Sorry, uh, Best Tech. Love this knife very much. But look at that. That is that is just sexy. This is cool too, but this is just bye. <laughs> Let's see if I can get it. Definitely requires some wrist, but you can definitely get it. Nope, that was bad. The action on all the CKF knives I've ever handled have just been absolutely amazing. And first impressions on this one are, oh man, this is a beautiful knife. Uh, it does have a little bit of damage. This is from the secondary market, like the majority of my pieces. It's a slight scratch in the bolster right there, which you can only see in certain lights. Uh, little pieces here and there. This is around a $400 knife. I got this for, I was a little over $200, so definitely don't mind a little nick on here and that little scratch. Also, I use all of my stuff. For all you guys that have been around here for a while, you know I will put a blade up for review and it'll be just beat to shit because I actually use my stuff. And I'll clean it up a little bit for the video and it'll still be beat to shit because, you know, a knife is a tool that's meant to be used. So let's roll into a few size comparisons. Uh, first off, let's do the Custom Knife Factory Muscle. I love this knife. This is a big giant bruiser of a blade. This is much more of an EDC friendly, kind of modern, traditional-esque. Um, it is definitely quite a bit smaller than the muscle, if I can keep that in frame. But I already knew that. The muscle is an absolute monster. The uh, name muscle is, is pretty accurate. This thing's a big old beastly bruiser. Let's pull out my TRM Atom. By far my favorite EDC right now, but this might just take the crown. So it is a little bit bigger than the Atom, not by too much. And just a little bit bigger. It's definitely a decent sized knife. I would not call it small by any means. It's small in comparison to the, uh, the muscle, for example, but yeah. Let's take the uh, Sheepdog Custom out. By the way, a little bit of an update on this knife. Um, I have a hell of a hard time actuating this little liner lock. You know, I can get it, but I gotta really dig in there. And then it comes shut. Um, as far as opening it, that's not a problem anymore. I figured it out pretty well. Um, but getting in here is an, a nightmare. But uh, it's a beautiful knife. Got it for a damn good price. And it'll probably stick around for a long time. But I ragged on it pretty heavily in that first video. For the most part, I disengage it with my uh, pointer finger because my thumbs are just too damn fat. Anyways, a little off topic there. This is the PM2. A little bigger than the PM2. Not by much though at all. PM2 is a pretty decent sized knife. EDC staple. I am sliding this way out of frame, so sorry about that guys. It's uh, well guys, girls. So you know everybody on this channel, it's, it's awesome. Um, it is very late, but I definitely wanted to get this out to you guys. Girls, guys, girls, people. <laughs> uh, we got one more. No, we'll do two more. Um, this is the Benchmade full-size Griptilian. Oh man, I'm starting to lose the butterfly. That's new. Okay, that sucks. Um, definitely bigger than the Griptilian. Scales on the Griptilian are a little bit fatter, but uh, this is definitely a bigger knife. Let's 
let's see, let's see, Paragon Knives Warlock. This is my designated unboxing knife. Just some absolute mall ninja stuff, but I love it. So definitely smaller than the Warlock. The Warlock is, again, a very big knife. Do you hear that sound, people? I live in Stockton, California, and somebody got shot probably a block away. Sounded pretty close. Not sure if it came through in the video or not, but if it did, that's someone's ass. Don't you love how numb I am to that sound? Not phased by it, don't jump, don't dive underneath a table, it's just not another one. It's really unfortunate. Uh, this is the uh, Best Tech Shinkansen. Now, I know I mentioned this is going to replace this for my front flipper. I do want to point out, though, that this is an absolutely amazing front flipper with incredible action. I am not good at front flipping at all, but I can actually do this on a pretty regular basis without any issues. Um, the blade flies out with enough force that it kind of knocks my hand back. That's not me using any type of wrist. It just literally knocks my hand back. But um, this is a great knife. That was wrist. That was instinct. <laughs> um, so anyways, in terms of size, they're actually very comparable um, in terms of size. It has a little bit more contouring on it. This is a little bit more straighter, but uh, very comparable in terms of size compared to the uh, Makosha. Makosha, Makoshka, I'm not sure how you say it. I don't speak Russian. So no disrespect to anybody watching this that does. If I say it wrong, please correct me in the comments. So my overall first impressions on this knife, honestly, I love it. I absolutely love it. I can't wait to get it off of camera so I can start handling it and flipping it and playing around with it. And man, if, uh, if you've been watching my videos for a while, you'll know I am famous for just screwing up, opening knives, front flipping them, fucking thumb flicking them, any type of opening. And this one just is so smooth. It's so good. It's an absolute fingerprint magnet because it's got that hand satin finish on it. But it is so good, so smooth. Um, I'm repeating myself, I'm very tired. It is just absolutely amazing. Um, I love this. Got this nice kind of dirty bronze. Uh, that needs to be cleaned up a little bit. Thought it was a scratch at first. Looks like it might just be gunk in there. Um, this uh, carbon fiber inlay scale type of thing. Um, I like it. I kind of wish it didn't have the fox pattern. I, mean, I, I know why it's there. It's a part of the heritage of the knife. Well, the squirrel is the heritage, and I guess the fox is just the upgrade to the squirrel. But um, I'm not a huge fan of it. The custom scales I have coming from CKF, which are you know the same price as this entire knife on the secondary, um, custom knife factory is definitely expensive, but they make amazing stuff. And I have a feeling I'm going to have this in my collection for a very long time. This, to me, as I drop it on the table, is the perfection. Um, this is the absolute you know, top of the line for a uh, modern traditional. Now, hear me out on that. Again, it's a locking blade. It's Literally, it's a liner lock or a frame lock with a carbon fiber inlay over it. It'd be more accurate. But... The aesthetics are very much old school. The nail nick is very much old school. Again, you don't have to use the nail nick, but that's more a testament, as I almost cut myself, to how good the action is on this that you don't need to use it. Now, mind you, it's not shaking out. The detents in there are pretty damn good, but the action and everything else is just dialed in so well that it's by all means a one hand opening knife. You don't need to use the nail nick. It's kind of just a callback to a bygone era. And I'm honestly not a huge fan of uh, slip joints, stuff like that, mainly because of the size. A lot of them are very small. Um, this is a bigger knife. You know, I have two XL hands, as I always say, and it fits. There's a little bit of hang off when I'm holding it the way I want to hold it, but as long as I'm kind of choked up, got a little piece left. Um, this has a deep carry, a very deep carry clip. You see it rounds off all the way up there. 
So I can only imagine how much this is going to disappear in the pocket. Centering is spot on, like all CKF stuff has been. I haven't cut anything with the blade, but I promise you, as I just stabbed myself, that was stupid, that this blade will be an absolute razor. This uh, big giant beast we have here is an absolute razor. Oh my God. Every knife I've had from CKF, are, they are dangerous. If they happen to mistakenly fall on you, you're going to end up with scars immediately. It's going to cut down to the bone. But they have very fast shipping when you buy directly from them. Great warranty. They are very nice guys. Um, and they are just a really good company. And I'm a huge fan of what they do. Not really big into flippers, which is what most of their knives are. You know, even this muscle that I love so much as a flipper just happens to be a perfect in every other way besides being a flipper. But it flips wonderfully and drops shut. I like all their stuff. So as I ramble for an extra five minutes, um, my initial impressions on this knife, honestly, I have zero complaints, 100%. So this will get a 10 out of 10 or a 100 out of a 100 for a first impression. There are nitpicking things like, you know, how easily the blade gets fingerprints on it, but that's because it's a hand rubbed satin finish or a satin finish in general will have fingerprints on it. Um, the damage is not CKF's fault. That's, you know, from the previous user. Uh, this is something I might not like that much, but it's an aesthetic choice. It isn't anything necessarily wrong with a knife. Um, and they all do offer secondary scales for it. Um, just overall, again, I, I mean, just look at that. Just drops perfectly. I guarantee that's going to bleed in about 30 seconds. Because these blades are so sharp that they will cut you quick enough and clean enough that you will not bleed. So, nope, did it again. God damn it. Gosh darn it. Anyways, thought I had the hang of that one. Never mind. Either way, still 100. This is an absolutely amazing knife. Uh, completely functional for EDC and just an absolute beautiful, beautiful work of art. And I'm going to be selling uh, a couple of my other gentlemanly knives because this to me is, this is perfect. So keep an eye out. I will be uh, listing some of those up on the Discord, first of all, which is the Best Damn EDC Discord. Um, Taylor Martin is a friend of mine, and all of my stuff goes through his servers first. So if something, if something interests you, uh, by all means, please hit me up on there. Uh, my name on there is Kyle J. Lanfear. Also, some people have mentioned about um, sending stuff to the channel. Um, I mentioned this in, in the foreword as well, but I'm going to mention it towards the epilogue as well. Oh, also, see? About 30 seconds. Didn't even notice it. Just happened to feel a little bit of wetness on my hand. I was like, oh, okay. Yep, bleeding. Crazy sharp. Crazy sharp. You saw it barely even hit me, and I'm leaking up. Anyways, um, so I'll be on the uh, Best Damn EDC Discord server. I do flash sales there. Um, I've sold $300, $400 Microtex for 100 bucks, like a whole bunch of different stuff. Um, I buy and sell a lot on the secondary market. I negotiate my ass off. Um, Cause people joke on there and call me King Dicker because I just negotiate with everybody. I don't lowball anybody. He definitely will ask you what your bottom price is. And you know how much do you have to be able to you know make money off of this whole process or to be okay with the, with the sale. But I do try to get the best deals possible. And unlike some jack offs in the community, I pass them on to you. So if I paid a hundred bucks, chances are you're going to pay $80. Um, well, I'm really bleeding. <laughs> but uh, again, please keep an eye out there. I'll also post to my Instagram page, which is Kyle underscore J underscore Landfear, as well as my Facebook. Sometimes I'm in a lot of different Facebook groups at Kyle J Landfear with the spaces between the Kyle J and the Landfear, all that fun stuff. Um, as always, I love you all so very much, man. Um, you're, you guys are just so generous to the viewer who offered this. Thank you so much. I will do the best I can not to get blood on it. This is a brand new Kershaw, by the way. I'm actually not sure on the name, so let me double check that real quick. I don't actually see a name on here. 
Link. This is a Kershaw Link, apparently. Or Leak, I don't, I don't know. I don't really have too much experience with Kershaw, as I already stated. But uh, this is a brand new knife, which will be going to somebody who I think deserves it. Now, that's not necessarily saying that, oh, man, you better subscribe and like and kiss my ass. Like, no, if you're in a financial situation to where you can't afford nice things or you're a dad and want to, you know, buy something for your kid or whatever, or you're even just a, a, a child or a, a teenager or a young adult and you want a decent knife, um, again, if you're under 18, I'm going to ask to speak to your parents. Um, I actually spoke to someone's parents pretty recently uh, and got the go-ahead to include them in the giveaway. So, uh, spoiler alert, if you're watching this content still and you happen to be that person, um, that bug out you wanted, I'm going to get it for you. So, thank you all for your time. Again, I love you all very, very much. And we're at 20 minutes here, so I'm going to try to cut it off. So, I love you. As always, be nice to each other. Please take a moment to do something kind to somebody today, and I do promise you'll be a better person tomorrow. There is too many assholes in the world, too much drama, too much negativity. So please, please, please do not give in to it. Do not be a part of it. Love one another unconditionally. I know it's hard, but we can do it. Thank you for your time. Thank you for all the new subscribers. Thank you for all the, the way this channel has grown and everybody interacts. It's just absolutely amazing. So once again, thank you. I love you for like the fourth time, but I really do. I, I can't emphasize that, that enough. I fucking love you guys. Thank you for your time. Take care.